Hi, you duck. I've got a little friend with me today. My subs on the Instagram are called Ducklings, and I'm the mother duck. It's even got rose gold toes. I'm sorry, it's amazing. They actually took the bottles to the shop to make sure they got the same pink as the bottle. So thank you, Sarah. Sarah's also become a really good friend as well. And it fits lovely in the arm. So I've been walking around with it like this in the house, like I've got a baby. Not that I would hold a baby by its neck, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's my little duck. But today we're gonna to celebrate the new year with fireworks, because you're all gonna be setting fireworks off. Be safe if you're doing fireworks at home, make sure you're safe. Just, just make sure you do it properly because we don't want no accidents, all right. So I'm gonna show you how we create this and it's super easy, but so effective. So yeah, let's get cracking. So I'm gonna start by using the base coat. I know this is a plastic nail, I know. But you've got to imagine this is going on to either a natural nail or it's going on to a nail extension. Now this is a long nail. Because it's long, I'm going to get the length done first. And we've got a fuzz already. I wonder how many fuzzies have been found in nails over all the years. I wonder how many fuzzies have been encapsulated in nails. So nice and thin, really splay the brush to drag off product. You only need the bare minimum. The thicker it is, that doesn't mean it's gonna have more longevity. The thinner it is, the better adhesion. Then we're gonna use Void. So Void is our black. And if you haven't used Void yet, oh my God, you need to because it's the blackest black you ever did see. So when you're doing a long nail and you're applying colour, it's the same thing as I've just done with the base. You can do the length first and then you can get your brush prepared for the cuticle. So you want product on, but you don't want too much product on the brush because you kind of want to bounce it to the cuticle to get it nice and neat. Because if you put too much product on your brush, then you're going to struggle to get it neat and you might flood the cuticle. You don't want to flood the cuticle. And it's easier then to pull from that crisp, neat cuticle down the nail onto wet product as well. So you've got wet gel polish on there. It's much easier. Because don't forget, your base coat is like a sticky surface and it will grab onto it. We're going to do two coats of that colour. We want the true full black. I mean, as you saw, it's pretty black. It's very pigmented. I mean, look how black that is. You probably could get away with one coat, but I want to do the true colour. <laughs> She's what? thought of it, Sal. I just went, why are you doing a black aquarium now? We're not doing an aquarium nail. I know. You said that was rubbish. We're not going to do an aquarium nail. I didn't say it was rubbish, but I well, just Well, maybe we will do that. one then. Maybe, do you want to see more aquarium nails? Let me know, because obviously I've gone from hating aquarium nails to, oh, I quite like them now. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was thinking to myself, why is she painting the black if she's doing an aquarium? We're not <laughs> doing aquarium, we're doing firework nails. I know, I know. You could do a black underside to the aquarium nail, and then you'd really see all the glitter floating around. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's not actually a bad idea. You think it's a bad idea, do you? Oh, for God's sake. So, white. Highly pigmented, that's what we need to do with the fireworks. So I'm using the Lily Liner brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with, kind of like, can you imagine you're doing like a snowflake? But we're not doing a snowflake. We're gonna do, these lines and they're all going to go to the middle. So this is how we're going to start it off. Okay. 
we're gonna cure that. What I don't get about firework night or bonfire night is you're kind of celebrating a terrorist attack, aren't you, really? Well, no, you're <laughs> celebrating the foiling of a terrorist attack and right. its execution. Of course, because he goes on the... Well, you actually, put Guy Fawkes on the bar, bonfire, don't you? Well, he, he didn't. No. Yeah, no, but that's what you do, don't you? Yeah, that's yeah. What you, but they didn't burn him. What? How did he die? Well, he, he was cheeky and killed himself. Oh, right, okay. So, he was hung, drawn and quartered. Yeah. And as they went to hang him, yeah. he ran, they put the noose around his neck. Yeah. And he ran and, and off the, like the, the, what's it called, the gallows. Right. And broke his own neck. So he died, that's how he died. They still quartered him and put him, his body, like, at each end of the country and his head went on to Tower Bridge, I think. Oh, this is what they used to do mm. back in the olden days. Yeah. Um, it's pretty but, sick, isn't it, really? Then, oh god, very. But then his other, the other people who got caught, they they got the foolish. They made sure that they couldn't. Oh, was there like there wasn't just one? I mean, I don't know. He, he gave up a few people, so because he got tortured for however long it was, and he gave up his conspiracy. So he didn't do it on his own. No, no, he didn't do it on. And to be honest, he was like a bit of a div. <laughs> bit of a div. <laughs> he got caught. He was the one idiot. that got caught, mm. and he was a bit of a div. He was probably a bit of a simpleton. Mm -hmm. You know, like being coerced into doing it. Ah, oh, okay. A bit of a shame, you know. Yeah. That happened a lot. In those um, days, that happened yeah, a lot. So, like, yeah. You would find somebody who had like learning difficulties. Right. Which makes it even sadder. It does, yeah. That um, does make it sadder. I didn't know the hundred and quartered meant your body was, was dismembered and put in different parts of the country. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. God, brutal. Horrible. Absolutely brutal. I mean, who even thought that that was acceptable to do that to people? I'm, don't get me wrong, these people have done nasty things and, and you know, there is certain people in the world that I, I think that that should happen to. Um, but they, they, do, they do say that uh, Guy Fawkes is the only honourable person, the only person to have ever gone into Parliament with honourable intentions. <laughs> <laughs> right, now I've got the Lily Long Legs brush. The Lily Long Legs brush is longer let me show you a lot longer than the lily liner brush so you can see there's a there's a big difference there so this is going to give us longer little explosions and we're always going to make sure we're guiding these little lines into the center now because when you get these fireworks they have all these different directions but they all come from the center don't they so that's what we're going to replicate and they always have more i was going to say more explosion that's not even the right description they've got see how they're denser at the end so they're finer at the very center but there's more product here so you get the impression of movement to thinner does that make sense mm -hmm. But directional, they want to go into the middle. I'm just going to cure those. New Year's Eve is coming, so I've got I've got my brother coming over. I'm going to add a little one here, kind of like coming off the nail. So we're going to add more and more. Yeah, we don't really do anything for New Year's normally. We don't do anything for New Year. My brother's coming over for New Year. Right, we're going to pop that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the jelly top coats. So I'm going to use these colours. So the pink is party pool. So party pool is your jelly pink colour. Then we've got Hugo, which is your blue and these are jelly colors because they are transparent then we've got mustang which is the green and then we've got luna which is a gorgeous purple and i'm going to use a fade brush as well which is our ombre brush so i'm going to pop these out onto the palette you could go straight on if you want but i want to be a little bit more oh a little bit more controlled, not so controlled, just like knocking it over. And I'm gonna pick up the colour. I'm gonna add it. 
different sections. I want it really thin. So you can see how it's colouring the white. Put a bit of green on. I'm going to cure those colours. Now I'm going to tell you why I'm curing those first. So if we mix green with especially the pink. Because if they're wet, if they're uncured products, we mix a bit of green and then we get a little bit of pink. When we mix that, we're going to have like a grey, purple, funny colour that I don't really want. It's a little bit messy, it's not a bright, it's not a firework colour, is it? So I don't want that to mix on the nail. So by curing it, it's not going to mix. And even if we mix the purple, with the green, we're going to make a different colour again that isn't a bright colour. I mean, it's quite a nice colour, but it's not a bright colour. I could do the green and the blue together because that doesn't matter. If they mix a little bit, you're going to get a bit of a turquoise, it's going to be fine. But I don't want those colours that I've just talked about, the purple and the pink, to mix with those other colours. Get the pink. And we're kind of pulling it all the way to the middle as well. It's not just on the edge. You know, you want the colour to follow through. Pop that in. And obviously, if you're doing this on a client, you're going to work on all the nails. You could even just do some accent black nails, or you could do some accent colour nails, or even the jelly nails. They look quite cool. Then we're going to use the purple. And now what we're going to do is create a little bit of depth and we're going to create the depth by adding a layer of base coat and then we're going to use the white on its own and it's going to create like a little bit of depth. So a layer of base coat. I like it when the fireworks go to the music. Like they, it's like the fireworks are dancing to the music, and I think that has got to be some kind of skill. That is well, to program that. Championships, you know. What? So, Firework championships? Yeah. So I. God, you watch some rubbish. You know, when you I was on holiday, in, and I went down south. Yeah. We went to visit a friend in Plymouth. Yeah. And that's where they held the British Championships, and we were there. Really? Then we didn't oh go down God. to the place. It's a huge, huge event. Yeah. The whole of Plymouth turned down. People come from all over the country to see us. And there was four teams over two nights. Oh no, eight teams over two nights. And we were there for one of them, but we didn't actually go down to the thing. So we just watched them from afar. So we didn't hear the music. Yeah. But apparently there's like pumping music and it's all timed exactly to it. Yeah. Um, and That's incredible though, how they do that. I mean, you know, we could see them from a distance and it looked great, but yeah. I did think I was like, well, it just looks like fireworks. <laughs> it just looks like fireworks. Oh, it just looks like just fireworks. Mm. Uh, just fireworks then. <laughs> Adam. Well, it's because my friend Nick was like really picking it up. Yeah. And I was, but I was just like, yeah, it's nice. So you were just being a negative Nancy? I was, no, no, I was, I was, I just, I thought they looked beautiful, they were amazing, but they were just fireworks. Like, like every other set of fireworks you've seen. No, they've 
not though i don't think i think you've got fireworks that you buy from the shop and you can just have a little some you yeah, know no, I mean, in like, the garden look, but then you've like got fireworks yeah but it had it looked just looked like every other fireworks display that you see because they're all good obviously it's not good if you just do them yourself yeah they're not they're not that good are they so what i'm going to do is add in the same circular sort of clock direction we're going to add white ones they're going to create some depth Because this kind of firework that I'm doing is those, you know, those ones that explode and they are the big ones. I These are the ones that I wait for. Mm. These are my favourite kind of fireworks. You know, you can have like the ones that swirl around and things like that. They, 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 they just don't do it for me. These are the best ones. I bet they've got a name and everything. I'm just going to cure that before I do any more same on this little one so can you see how it gives it the depth by yeah. adding the color because yeah, sort of obviously there we see them from one direction yeah but they go out in all directions. All directions, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's kind of what they look like, isn't it? You could even put like a little crystal in the middle, I think maybe we should. Maybe we should put a little crystal in the middle. I think we should. Do you think it'll ruin it? No. No. Glue a little bit of gem glue. Or gem gel. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. Right, let's cure that. And let's go in with top coat. Now because these gems are on their own, I am actually going over the top of the gem. Alright, so like seal it in because it has no support. Yeah, because it doesn't have any support in the in the way of like it's got no other stones around it cluster. yeah it's got no because when i do like a cluster they kind of protect each other all the stones it's like you've got the head noncho like stone the big stone and then it's got all its little friends around that hold it and look after it and protect it Does that makes sense <laughs> and there we are we've got a firework nail how cool is that Firework! Firework! So it's another way to use your jelly top coats because there's just an abundance of ways to use. So we would like to say Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you for watching us all year long. Please make sure you watch us for the next foreseeable year and every single year after that. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, check out the description box for all the products that I've used today. And I'll see you guys in the new year.